pneumothorax. Pneumothorax is a collection of air in the pleural cavity. It produces a partial collapse of the lung and is seen as a uniformly black peripheral shadow outside the lung border with absence of vascular markings. When large, it produces a complete collapse of the lung and shift of mediastinum to the opposite side. Note the collapsed right lung which gets collected as a radio-opaque shadow at the hilum in massive pneumothorax. In this x-ray, note the peripheral radiolucent area on the left side with no bronchovascular markings. This uniformly black area represents a collection of air in the pleural cavity or pneumothorax. The lung is collapsed and you can see that it is more radio-opaque and its border is seen as a thin white line demarcating the collapsed lung. Note in the close-up view the absence of bronchovascular markings over the pneumothorax and the sharp border separating it from the lung. Now in this view compare the normal lung on the right side with pneumothorax on the left side. Absence of bronchovascular markings is better appreciated when compared with the normal lung on the opposite side. This is another x-ray showing air in the right pleural cavity without significant shift of mediastinum. Note the peripheral radiolucent area on the right side and the thin line of lung border representing the visceral pleura which demarcates the collapsed lung from the air. Note the absence of lung markings in the dark radiolucent area. Now this is a set of two x-rays. The first x-ray shows left pneumothorax. Note the radiolucent peripheral zone along the chest wall and the apex. The costophrenic angle is clear indicating that there is no associated fluid or pus in the pleural cavity. Now this second x-ray shows the picture after aspiration of air. The lung has expanded and the bronchovascular markings are seen up to the chest wall. The lung does not show any lesion, infiltration or emphysematous bulla. Such spontaneous pneumothorax occurs due to a subpleural tuberculous focus. This is another case of pneumothorax in a child. Note the radiolucent shadow around the right lung. The lung border is sharply defined and the lung itself shows uniform opaque shadow suggestive of associated consolidation. If the pneumothorax is very small or not seen clearly, then the x-ray should be repeated in full expiration when pneumothorax is demonstrated more clearly. If the pneumothorax is traumatic, you should look for rib fractures and inspect the subcutaneous tissues for surgical emphysema. In this x-ray, note the pneumothorax on the right side and note the air in the subcutaneous tissues shown by the black arrows. The air in the subcutaneous tissues is termed as subcutaneous emphysema. The black arrow shows the air delineating the subcutaneous tissues and the muscles. And the white arrow marks the lung border lateral to which is the radiolucent shadow of pneumothorax. Now a careful inspection of all the ribs will reveal a rib fracture which has caused the pleural injury and air leak. In this x-ray, the radiolucent shadow is seen only in the lower zone. It does not extend to the apex. This is an encysted pneumothorax. The air in the pleural cavity is loculated due to pleural adhesions. Note the well-defined sharp border and compression of the adjoining lung tissue. If the border of an encysted pneumothorax is very thin, then it is difficult to differentiate it from an emphysematous bulla. A bulla has very thin borders and it does not compress the adjoining lung tissue as seen here. This is a massive pneumothorax on the right side with total collapse of the right lung and the mediastinal shift to the opposite side. Note the complete radiolucency on the right side with collapsed lung at the hilum. Since the lung is completely collapsed and airless, it has become white or opaque and it occupies only a small area near the hilum. 
Any pneumothorax which occupies more than one third of the hemithorax needs to be drained using an intercostal tube. This is another case of a complete pneumothorax. The left hemithorax is radiolucent and the mediastinum is markedly pushed to the opposite side compressing the right lung. The large amount of shift of mediastinum is indicative of the high pressure in the pneumothorax and this is termed as a tension pneumothorax. A tension pneumothorax is a medical emergency requiring urgent drainage as it is compressing the opposite lung and hampering with its expansion. This is one more x-ray of tension pneumothorax. Note the radiolucency over the entire left hemithorax, complete collapse of the left lung and signs of high pressure in the left pleural sac. That is, the mediastinum is shifted to the opposite side, compressing the opposite lung. The diaphragm is pushed downwards and flattened and the intercostal spaces are wider. This is tension pneumothorax. This is another x-ray of tension pneumothorax. Note the complete radiolucency of the right hemithorax with shift of mediastinum to the opposite side. The diaphragm is pushed down to a level lower than the left diaphragm and intercostal spaces are widened.